The Smashing Pumpkins at the Air Canada Centre on Thursday, October 25th, 2012. Hey, what's up? What's up? Yo. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Say hi to all my two subscribers out there. Thanks for tuning in. This is Pop Man here, Pop as in Soda Pop, and I'm reviewing my 86 concert, and that is on Ah the Smashing Pumpkins. Ha ah, ah. ha! As you can see here, trying out some new drums here to my right. Concert board over my head. Billy Corgan and Co. are they rocking out behind me on the television set. I got a little playlist going. If it stops in the meantime, I should probably just bring the mouse over here. This show is at the Air Canada Center, where the Toronto, Toronto Maple Leafs play. Great hockey club, by the way. How much money was this show? Ninety-seven dollars. I paid ninety-seven dollars. I paid ninety-seven dollars for this. I completely forgot how much I paid. Let's uh, let's get to the review. Just gonna pull out my trusty notepad, which is uh, really just the uh, backside of a rabbit receipt. I bought chicken legs, back attached, a hot beef patty, plastic bag, a shaft loaf marble. It's a marble cake. They're actually really good. You should try it. So anyway, uh, pumpkin took the stage eight fifty to uh, a, a not very sold out crowd. Um, the entire upper bowl of the Air Canada Center was empty. They played the, the entire new album first, which uh, I didn't mind because I like the new album actually. Um, if I was to rate the new album, I'd give it a, I don't know what I'd give it, but I really like the new album. There's actually not a song that I wouldn't not put on my computer. In fact, I would say that the new album is one of their best albums of their entire catalog. Rebel, give me some money, please. I'm drinking your stuff on my show. Of course, a lot of people didn't know uh, Oceana, and 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 if you've been watching my reviews for a while, you know my my rule that start off with songs that people know. No one knew Oceana, but it's the Pumpkins. Billy Corgan is really opinionated. He's, you know, he's got a way of doing things, and I, I, I trust his way of doing things. So, um, and uh, you know, it's admirable that he would start off a show. Um, I have to sneeze so bad. Hold on. <coughs> 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 Crescendo. The the stage design, 
they, you know, they had just run-of-the-mill lights, nothing overly special, just really uh, bare bone. And then they had this really giant circular, um, right when I'm trying to talk about it, come on, come on. All right, so they, uh, giant circular projection ball, but like, to be honest, um, the problem with it was that it didn't go with the music. It wasn't synced up at all. The imagery and the things that they that they used on the video ball were they were extremely abstract, which is fine. But it just it it it, it never matched the mood of any one song that they played. So I ignored it the entire time. To be quite honest, I could have done without that ball. All right, now I got to talk about parts of the show that I talked a lot about in the in the preview review that are will be kind of redundant, but we need to talk about this. Um, so, the, you, know, you know, the overall energy of the show was kind of lacking. I, I'm, I'm going to be straight up with you right now. I will never go see the pumpkins ever again. Security guards periodically were walking through the audience, looking for people smoking weed, pulling up people who were, well, I can't say moshing because there was no moshing, but I guess people that seemingly were becoming overly erratic. I guess they would pull those people out. Uh, if you read uh, the comments on my preview review, there was one uh, user that said he got kicked out during Zero, which was the last song. My coworker Mike, who also went to the show with my other coworker, whose name is, is also Mike, so Mike and Mike went to the show. He got kicked out. He, my friend Mike, who paid, I don't, I don't think the seats were a hundred bucks. I think the seats were a little bit cheaper, but. He got kicked out three songs into the into the show. He's a stand-up guy. What about Mike? I don't think he'd make this up, but he said that he was told by security numerous times to take a seat and that he was too loud. I, uh, you know, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. You know, if he's, if he's making it up, I don't think he's making it up, though. I don't think he's making it up. I think he's being serious. He wouldn't. He, he wouldn't lie to me. A lot of people usually don't lie to me. I, I'm. I'm not saying I'm. I'm like, you know, I'm a trustworthy guy. No, I. I am pretty trustworthy. But that's not why he would. He. He. He'd lie to me. I've never been a part of something so opposite of rock and roll. I have to say, between the no moshing rule, the no crowd surfing rule. Um, my friend getting kicked out. I mean, I know that doesn't affect me, but it, it, it still adds to the, you know, phenomenon that is Billy Corgan and his rule. I, I will have to say that the, the, the no crowd surfing, the no moshing rule really just sucked the energy out of the crowd. Security guards walking through the crowd really was just, that was really peculiar. I've never seen anything like that before. And from the friends that I did have, in the stands, in the seats, you know, after, when I, when I spoke to them after the show, they were, you know, and they asked me, like, well, what was going on down there? How come no one was, you know, moving around? E even though some of them don't particularly like moshing, they were still a little baffled as to why there was very little movement. Now onto the ratings for the show. Well, just finished talking about the no crowd surfing and no moshing, so looks like we're going to uh, we're gonna get zero... Um, soaked, salt, stained, skinny jeans out of five on the mosh meter, and we're gonna get also a rock bottom zero on shoes to the back of the head out of five. Overall, overall performance, um, pumpkins did come out, they did play well. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't their, it wasn't Billy Corgan's best show. Um, he did, he did put on a good show. He played all the tunes I wanted to hear, except for 1979, but regardless, um, still really good. But um, as I said in my preview review, and I I'm going to have to settle in on um, uh, six. Six cocks out that were rocked out out of ten for the Smashing Pumpkins on this show. And as I said, I'm for as long as there's a, a no moshing and no crowd surfing rule in Billy Corgan's crowd, I respect your decision, but this will effectively be um, my first and last Smashing Pumpkins concert. My next show in line is Death Grips. That's on Sunday, October, uh, November 18th. 
follow me on Twitter for live updates at concerts that I'm at, and that's twitter.com forward slash tunes I dig, at tunes I dig. You can go to tunesidig.com for the full blog website for uh, new songs, old songs, and music videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.